Hey, this is Georgie. We're going to Georgie's Rule Rock. How's everyone doing out there today? Oh, we're having a good week. Nice and cool today in the uh, Northeast. Fall is here. It's October 1st. And loving the weather when it's starting to get cooler out. Get too hot. Don't like the heat. Like I always said, don't like the heat. So anyway, today's a little, a little different than just doing a song video. So songs, um, um, you guys have songs that you really like. And if you hear it on the radio, you always turn it up. Or if you have it on, on you see any player in the car or at home, and you always go back to it and repeat it. If you have it, if you have it on streaming, you'll go back and stream it or, or MP, whatever the hell you got, and go back or put the needle back on the record, rewind the tape, like over and over. You love that song so much, you keep hearing and hearing. Well, I got 20 songs that are like that, that I really love, and uh, I, it's not even from my, some of my favorite bands either. Just the songs I really like from over the years, and I'll just do it over and over and over and over. So. These are 20 songs I got, and uh, some of these aren't even metal songs. There's some there's metal songs at the bottom, but the beginnings are like just regular, regular rock songs. So I mean, just I thought it'd be an interesting idea to see if you guys have songs that you just keep repeating that you love. Even if it's not a band you like too much, bands like maybe just like a one thing by them. Maybe it's the only song you like by them, but you love that song, and you'll always go back and repeat it and repeat it. So I picked 20 songs from the list. I don't think I need my glasses for this one because I know what this, this, what songs they are. So. Like I said, I like to hear what you guys have to say, but this, if you have songs that you just, I gotta hear that again, I gotta hear that again, I gotta hear that repeat, repeat, you know, just, it's just crazy, it's, you know, you know the song inside and out, you just love it, and you just like, if you're hearing the radio, crank it up, and you're like, oh yeah, this is my, this is it, I love this song, even though it's just like a baby weird song, it could have been a pop song, I don't care, country song, whatever, this is all genres, but I'm gonna start with some old stuff, and then go kind of forward, so I'll just show you what I have. Uh, the first song is uh, from the king of rock and roll, Elvis, and it's Suspicious Minds. <laughs> always loved that song. So I I have a few Elvis albums. I'm always uh, Elvis is the king. You know, whether you like him or not, he started the whole thing. And that song, Suspicious Minds, which came out in the, you know, 70, uh, 70 something. I forgot what year it was. Maybe I should put my glasses on so I can see the years of this. It came out in 69. Uh, but always loved it. One of my favorite songs, and I always would go back and play it again and again. So, Suspicious, Suspicious Minds by Elvis. That's one. Number two, another oldie, not a metal song. And, and it's not even, it's from one of my favorite bands, but it's just a solo song from from this artist. And this is from uh, 19. Uh, oh my, where's my, here it is. Maybe I should have just done it a little differently. But this is 19. Uh, Oh, I don't write this dates down for her. I never tell you the, the names. Come on, what year is this? Well, it's in the it's the nineteen eighties, I believe, and it's uh, "Dream Away" from George Harrison. It was in the movie Time Bandits, and that's where I heard it from. And I love that. I actually taped it off the uh, the TV when I was a kid because I love that song. But I know albums. I wasn't into really into, into albums at the time. But yeah, great song, "Dream Away" from. Uh, George Harrison. If you don't know the song, check it out. Really good stuff, though. Really good song. Um, another one, another one. Not a metal song, not a hard rock song, but a legendary band from the time in the '60s, and it's uh, "Ride My Seesaw" from the Moody Blues. Always love that song too. Such a great song. I'll repeat that one three or four freaking times. That's how much I like that song, "Ride My Seesaw." I don't know why. Such a silly, silly song, silly lyrics, but you know, songs have to make make sense to you. But definitely love that rhyme I see saw by the Moody Blues. Love that one. Here's another one by maybe artists don't talk about it much, but this song is such a good song, and I'll repeat this one too. And it's uh, I Need a Lover by John Cougar. This is from 79. Really good stuff. Really good song. I just love the chorus in that one. I'm not singing any of these songs, so don't worry. I won't kill your ears with my terrible singing. But uh, it's a great song. I Need a Lover. It won't drive me crazy. Love that song. Definitely repeatable song. Here's another one, not a metal song. I do have a couple albums by this band. I actually like the original bands for this um And it's Disappear by In Excess. Such a great song, Disappear. Another song, you know, I'm going to put the titles on the bottom here probably. Really good stuff from uh, the X album here. Great stuff from the. Uh, you know, you got to hear the songs. I wish I could. I don't know how to link all the stuff, but um, just look it up. Disappear by In Excess. From the X album. Another one with this one's another one. 
one of the favorite bands. It's not a heavy metal band, heavy, not even hard rock band, but just an awesome band. A great songwriter. And it's down on the corner from Creedence Clearwater Revival from the William the Poor Boys. Uh, I love Down on the Corner. It's a great, the cowbell, it just goes into it. Uh, such an awesome song. I love John Fogarty. It's a great, great voice, great, great vocal. On this one, so Down on the Corner. It's such a great, with William the Poor Boys. Uh, it's such a good song. Love that one. So that's definitely a put one on that repeat. Here's another one. This is a song that if you're driving in the car and you hear this one come on, if you don't know, it will make you drive faster. It's from the best stuff here, but um, it's uh, Hollywood Nights from Bob Seger. That's a great song. Double kick drums in that song. just kicks on through. It makes you drive faster and faster. I mean, it's a great freaking song. I love that song by him. Not a big Bob Seger fan either. I have one other album by this, but by him. But that song, Hollywood Nights, is a killer one. It's a great tune. So there you go. And this one, another one, I only have best stuff from this band. And it's one of my friend Eddie's favorite bands. But the song is Break On Through from The Doors. How can you go wrong? You know, such a great tune, too. It's such a short song. It's two minutes, and boom, it's over. But it's a great song, Break On Through. Just, it's like Heavy Doors. If you want to call it Heavy Doors, Heavy Doors, man. It's a great tune. Great song, Break On Through. Everyone knows it. It's a popular song, so there you go. There's one there. Here's another one from a band that I only just this album from. It's only the best of. And I love this song. I watched a video. I'll repeat this song. Another one. I'll repeat like four or five freaking times. And it's by the Godfathers. Birth, school, work, death. It is such a good song. Gotta gotta go and try the song. It's not it's not a metal song. It's a hard, it's a heavy song, but not like a heavy metal song. If you know what I mean. It's really freaking good though. Birth, school, work, death. It's just that's what life is all about, isn't it? But it's a great tune by the Godfathers. So there's one I always put on repeat there too. And we're getting a little more rocking stuff here. And this one too. And this is my favorite song by this band and they got tons of albums i got a lot of their early, all their early albums up to like i think the 1990 maybe but this song is always my favorite love the video give me all your loving from zz top but my Luminator, love that song just love the way the grooves in man and billy gibbons the guitar tone and the vocal on this which is awesome just a great tune give me all, i saw it live too when i saw them uh, a couple years ago but great tune Great song, Give Me All Your Love, and that, that, that whole video with the girls in a car, and they come in and take the guy from the gas station, you know, this video's freaking awesome, it's a great song, great, song, great video too, so there you go, Easy Top, there's another one, it's a great tune from the 60s, this is from uh, 19, uh, I think it's from 1960s, maybe it's 70 something, hold on, I think it's from 69, I believe, I can't see it because it's so crazy, but it's Kick Out the Jams, motherfuckers, from MC5. Love that one. Kick out the jams. Great tune. Love that. Blue Oyster Cult did a nice job of it too, but this is original is really the live one. This is a great tune. A great hard rocking song. Kick out the jams. Great tune. Great song by a band that didn't really put a few albums out, but really good. So that song definitely kicks ass. Okay, yeah. Now, another one. Getting up in the. This one's from uh, 60 something here. And the first song on this. From this, from this uh, artist here, and this is uh, not an official album. It's an official album, but it's not an official mountain album. But it's another West Mountain, and the song is Blood of the Sun. Love Blood of the Sun, too. Another freaking kick ass song from the um, album Mountain, Leslie West Mountain. Great tune, though. Blood of the Sun, love that song. One, oh my god, the, the riff in that song is just kick ass all the way. Love it. So definitely check it out. But uh, Leslie West. Um, this one, too. I heard this on a compilation I had from a bunch of hard rock artists. And it's called Metal Masters, but there's really no metal on it. It's just hard rock bands. But this song, love it. You are a heap stealing. Uh, the, the lyrics that I just listen to, this, get, get, this starts real calm and then goes in and kicks in. It's just freaking great. You know, uh, what do you call it? Dave Bryan uh, was, Byron was a great singer and a great song. Love Stealing. My favorite song by Uriah Heep. It's got to be. Repeat it, repeat it, repeat it all the time. Great tune. Stealing. Uriah Heep. Another one. This is from the first album. And it's not one of my favorite albums. If you've watched my one ranking of this band. But this is my favorite song. And I love it. Blue Oyster, Blue Oyster Cult. And uh, Cities on Flame with Rock and Roll. I would repeat that one too a couple times. Great tune. Early album too. This is from 1972. Awesome stuff. Blunts, yep. Cities on Flame, but rock and roll. Love that song. I don't know if they still play it. I'm sure they do, but I mean, I've seen them live. But I don't know if they still stop playing or not. I'm not even sure, but great tune, though. Cities on Flame. Gotta go with that one. 
All right, and this one's a newer, new-ish. I can't say it's new, new, because it's now it's around. What year does this come out? 2010, so it's older now. But the opening track to this album, bass kicks in, kicks ass. Black Country Communion with Black Country. Freaking awesome. I mean, Glenn Hughes' bass pops in, streams with the vocals, and John bon um, Jason Bonham's drums. Awesome stuff. Joe, Joe Bonham also has guitar work. It's a great tune. Check it out. Black Country. Another song I repeat, repeat. Great tune. Great song. This one, too. This is an oldie. And actually, never had, the original one I never heard before. Because, you know, you know, when I was getting to music, I didn't know a lot of stuff in the 80s. But I love this. I had a, a cover version of this song, which I really like. I still like it. But the original doesn't compare to the original. And it's Nazareth with, of course, Hair of the Dog. Now you're messing with a son of a bitch. Great freaking tune. I love it. And it, and it repeats, repeats it. I don't even care. It doesn't get old. It's just a great song by uh, Nazareth. Love the song. Love the tune. Great album, too. But this one's from 70-something. Uh, uh, I don't know why I can't find the, the year the years on this. It's in the 70s, though. You know. <laughs> Hair of the Dog. You know the song. Great tune. This one getting a little heavier now. A couple more of these. And uh, this one, an odd band maybe you picked from this, from my favorite song, but I love it. It's a great, it's almost a, it's, it got some thrashy moments for a band that's not, a, it's like a sleaze metal band, but the song is uh, Susie Suicide by Spread Eagle. Oh, it kicks in it. That's, that riff just rips. you got to hear this song. It's a freaking masterpiece. And the singer just screams over the top of it, and it's awesome. Drums in it. Another amazing thing on it. So yes, yeah, so Spread Eagle with Susie Suicide off the uh, Spread Eagle debut. From this is from 1987, I believe. Again, I can't see it. Anyway, all right. Now this one here, one of my favorite songs by the band. This one, I don't know why this one I always repeat. But I love, I love it. And it's not the song you're thinking of if you're thinking of the album cover. But it's from Highway to Hell. But it's if you want blood, you got it. Love that song freaking it's brilliant it's one of my favorite top favorite two favorite ACDC songs but I could have picked another one but I said I'm going with this one because this one's just great if you want blood you got it it's a great um after they made the, the, the live album named it after that one, but this song is kick ass love that tune Bon Scott era last one with uh, with Bon on his album so great tune though there you go what's this it's jiggling around here anyway um next one debut EP and the first song they released from it, it was a wacky video it's such a great song though and it's st still probably the heaviest song they ever put out one of them anyway and it's Queen of the Reich by Queen's Reich freaking awesome tune you know the video is goofy but damn the song is awesome just vocals and Chris DeGarmo's guitar playing excuse me it's just a freaking amazing song I'll repeat that one too Queen of the Reich Screaming at it, screaming it. It's a great tune. There you go. And the last one on here, these aren't really in any order, really, but this one I had to put on here, too. And uh, I'll put this on. I'll watch this this video of this all the time. It's a little goofy, but it's cool at the same time. And the, uh, I'll put this on the radio. I'll crank it up. I love it. Played over and over. Balls to the wall from Accept. That, uh, that song just freaking just kicks ass all the any which way, I just you can crank that to have it make them make their house shake. Such a great freaking tune. So yeah, balls to the wall. By accept number twenty here. Well, twenty song I picked here, but it's not any order. But that song's awesome. So there you go. Those are my twenty songs that I picked. That I repeat. And you notice I didn't pick any Kiss songs. Now I love Kiss. You know that. But these are the songs. It's like these ones repeat. I don't know why. Just works that way. But anyway, in the comments, tell me what songs you like crank up doesn't matter what it is don't be embarrassed by it you like what you like but just tell me in the comments what you think what you uh what you like and uh that's it hope you like the little silly video i did here and um if you like what you see please like and subscribe to the channel comment all that fun stuff and we'll see you next time keep rocking metal a lot guys take it easy